Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Joe here, your full-time thrifter, part-time reseller. I am back. Um, I am back with part two of my Texas thrift haul. And um, you as you can tell, on? we have... Daniel from Second Chance Love, your most favorite of the channel. That just means that um, this video will be filled with drama and chaos and... Um, I love drama everything else i'm pretty sure they know you do i'm a very dramatic person i'm sure a lot of we people. would have never we were wondering would have never guessed all right so we are back with rate my thrift um i have items from texas i actually found i think i mentioned in my last video that i did not know what i had in my luggages it's i know i've been back for like over a week but um i just went through my last luggage because i was looking for gym shorts i think and I found a, cu a couple of things and I was like, oh, wait, I do have five items uh, to share with all of you. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this uh, right to my haul. Actually, um, I didn't even go over the, the rules. For those of you joining me for the first time, we are here on my channel. Um, I am Joe. This is my husband, Daniel from Second Chance Love. Um, we do this series where he has to rate what I shop for and I do the same on his channel. Um, so the game of the rule is... Because his channel is named Second Chance, um, he's going to decide whether the item that I picked gets a second chance or not. Um, and then we go from there. And then um, I ask that you guys vote and um, let us know whether you think it's a second chance or not. So, um, let's start I'm with ready. item number one. He's trying to pick people. Close your eyes. They are closed. All right. We're going to start with item number one. This haul might be a little bit unexpected because I did pick up some things that, like, even I myself shocked what? myself. Oh. No, I just, I guess, yeah, I guess I wouldn't. I don't know. You tell me. All right. A bag. So, this strap. is item number one. And I've never seen these items. It is very cute, unless he was nosy and peeked through my stuff. I don't have time Which for that. I have lots of things to do in the is house. Known to do. So very, very cute. And And when will I see it? Um I'm showing them. Okay. You can open your eyes. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What is this? Is this a chain? A belt? It is a fancy belt. It's a belt. It's a Brighton? It's a Brighton. It's a medium sized belt? Yep. No. <laughs> it's is very is cute. No. <laughs> no. It's $5.98. No no, and I believe it was no, 20%. No, 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 Hold no. on. Let me show everyone how. It looks, it's really cute. No. So I wish I had my mannequin down here because my mannequin would accentuate this really, really cute. No. Um, so it is a Brighton. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Brighton, uh, they do silver work. Um, I believe this is silver, sterling silver, and it has like these gold accents. Um, and I could see this looking really cute, like on a pair of vintage jeans or even like a cute little dress. Um, the belt would look like that. And I think it is very cute. No. No, First he said of no. All, but the yellow, which you're saying is supposed to be gold, looks very pale. So it looks kind of like lackluster. I don't know if this needs like a shine or some type of cleaner. I'm sure you have to clean it. Um, I, I don't like the fact that it has a lot of wear on it. There's a lot of scratches on the back that you guys can't really see. But a lot of the shapes have a lot of scratches. And I'm not a personal fan of Brighton. I, I don't like their stuff. Um, yeah, it looks tarnished. This is just something that I it's would not have to do. silver. It needs to be clean. No, I'm sorry. Um, but I will clean this up and then I will photograph it. It's going to look cute and it's going to sell. I know it will because it's a bright. That's character. absolutely fine. It's not something I want to keep. All right. Let's move on to item number two. All right, item number two. So for this item, I did go back and forth. I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it up or not. Um, 
I am very cheap, so it was this much. Don't tell and me about it. I was like, I don't know if I want to buy this or not. Um, and I say that with a lot of love. I believe that it was like 20 or 30% off. I can't remember the colors of it. But um, I'll tell you why I picked it up in just a second. You can open your eyes. Fossil wallet? It is a fossil wallet. It looks like it's still in good shape. Well, mm, it has some watermark damage. I like sniffing stuff because gross. sometimes we know you have bought, <laughs> you bought so a Dooney and Burke bag that had a terrible cigarette smell. Terrible, terrible cigarette smell. And he was sniffing it, guys. <laughs> It's a little dirty on the inside. It's really clean. It's in really good shape. Um, how much? Five. I think I got like a discount on this. I think um, it might have been twenty percent off. Maybe not because I contemplate on not buying it. It gets a little stuck. Oops. Wow. <laughs> um, it gets a little stuck when you try to open it right here. Right here, it gets stuck. Uh, I, um, I say yes, but it's a very close no because <laughs> the quality is not the best. The critiques are the harsh condition, today. The condition, the condition is not great. It's in good shape and form, but overall the leather. So again, the leather is, it's, it needs some work. I don't know if you can use your magic and maybe revive it. It looks like it's stained with some miscolor maybe from another bag or in a pocket something it looks like it has some pen marks um but i still think it's yes because it's in a really good shape it doesn't smell funky and it's still good all right so i um did it i wasn't gonna pick it up because like he mentioned it does have like some staining in through here um there's also pen marks um oftentimes i can get these off pretty easily i just didn't want to go through the hassle i'm like super super busy um so yeah it's um uh, it was just gonna be like a little pain in the butt but it was um before the tag was dinked off so viciously it was 5.98 um and then i looked it up and this seems to have sold or is on listed for like 60 bucks i'm not entirely sure why th that is because I certainly saw other accordion like um, wallets that were selling for like 30 to 40 bucks. So I'm not really sure what, what why this one was selling for more. I don't know if it has to do with like the leather, the type of leather. Um, I still have to do a little bit more digging, but uh, that is the reason why I ended up picking this up. And it was a second chance. Okay, item number three. This one's a good one, y'all. Okay, so now I'm convinced that that was not on sale because this that would have meant that this is on sale and this was not on sale either. Okay, so, so, so cute. So I'm guessing it's Ooh, another like handbag ah. or purse or wallet. Ooh, ah. Ooh excuse me. Guessing. I'm so sleepy. Have some coffee. I don't drink coffee, you know that. I had no idea. Okay, open your eyes. Oh, I love Doonies. Mm -hmm. I love, love Doonies. Up there with Coach. Coach and Doonies are like my favorite brands. Um, so it looks like it's in really good shape. Looks almost like it's never been used. Inspection look at that bright time. Um, there's only like, I think some dead bugs in there. That's nasty. <laughs> There's always dead bugs in these bags. I don't know why. I don't know where people keep them, but there's always bugs. Uh, zippers work well. The inside of the leather seems to have some scratch marks right here on the strip, but I mean, they're not so that noticeable. So you guiding people. Um, oh. Huh. Is this normal? Oh, it's creasing from the this leather. This hair right here. This? No. It's not I don't know because it's it stitched. Part of it? I'm not really sure because it's stitched. I mean, it looks good. It looks like it's in a good shape. And there's... 
it. Oh, it's a oh. hair tie. <laughs> you always have to be careful with these bags. Um, how much was this? Twelve ninety one. Oh yeah, that's that's a definite yes. I mean, this is definitely so cute and sportable. It looks like brand new. It's you can't find a duny for that price in this condition. You just At can't. least not in Orange County. So definitely second chance. All right, second chance for the Dooney. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Close your eyes. All right, so this is item number four. Ooh, ah. Look at this. It sounds like you only Wonderful. have like handbags, purses, and wallets. So, is that all you with have? That? Open your eyes. It makes it more exciting when there's like, oh gosh, really? Is this a canvas bag? It is a fabric bag. Oh, I don't like fabric bags. They're so much easier to, to stain. The sniff stuff. test people, the sniff test. It smells old, like it's been in the, in the closet or something. It's very, very clean. All these bags are very clean. It's like, I don't understand why. It's like people buy them in a... Bra strap. Oh, I am telling you guys, be very careful when you're going through these bags. Um, um, my final say is no. No, coach and it's a coach. And it is a coach, but I I don't like fabric bags. And one because personally, for me, I'm a very I'm like I'm cl I'm a clean person, but the bags, my bags, always end up being in like areas where it's not clean. Where like my car, if I put them on my car floor, it's not always a hundred percent clean. Um, or like. I have them hung somewhere. Clean. Like this is a magnet for Bella's hair. Bella's hair would be all over this material because it feels like it would stick. And personally, I don't like this style. It's just, it's really not for me. I, I just don't like this um, strap. I feel like this over time gets really, really wore, wear, like a lot of wear on it. And it gets really, really dirty from you handling it a lot. So I'm sorry. It's a no for me. All right. No on the coach. Sad day for the coach. Let's move on to our last item. And he's asking for excitement, so let's just give him that. All right. So, last and final item. Oh. Actually, you know what? I'll bundle two good. items. Yeah, she's moving. I'll bundle two items because these are like in the same category. Is this number five? This is number five. Oh, so it's the last category. What are yeah. you talking about? No, it's the last item. It, it, these two items are the same category, so I'm doing like a mm. whammy. Um, okay, open your eyes. <laughs> I honestly feel like you just grabbed whatever you had to do this what? video. What? No. Just... This has a story to it. What are you talking about? You know I collect those, so like I grabbed that. Uh, why did you buy this though? Because it's Starbucks mug and it's old. But it has a bunch of cracks on the bottom. Oh, let me see. So, it might this have, is a Starbucks mug. It might have cracked on the, in, no, in the luggage. No, this looks like they've been there because the cracks on the inside, you guys may not be able to really see them, but the cracks on the inside, it looks like they've been stained from coffee, so over time. Um, so, no to this. How much did you pay for this? I think it was like 50 or 48 cents. You know, Texas, they'd be doing And it. there's actually a lot of cracks around this mug. So it's like full of crazing and I think actual cracks. Ooh. So this just would have been a flat no to me. So I know a lot of people like buying mugs, even though they're still crazed and cracks. Um, maybe for decor oh, yeah, purposes. I don't know if the, it's actually been said that it's not safe to drink out of crazed mugs. Um, but... I, I, I wouldn't buy that. And then to this. So this is a hard because you gave me two items, but one is a no so far. Okay. Um, this looks like it's a vintage tumbler. I don't think that is a vintage. 
But I do have a story as to why I bought this. Do not microwave, made in China. No, it's a thermal. Patent pending. I mean, it looks really old though. Like, unless it's like for camping. Is it, it for, is for camping? camping? It looks clean on the inside, like brand new. Yeah, I think that is, it's new. Um, this is yucky. It just needs to go wash. Just boil it with hot water. Um, there's some of the paint is rubbing off already. Uh, actually, there is some chipped off right there. How much was this? A dollar. I don't know if I would say yes to this. I don't, I honestly would not pick it up. This is nothing that I would want to buy, even if it was for a dollar. I'm sure you probably have a wild story that it's probably worth a lot. No, it's not a wild story. I just have like, like I always wanted a thermo and I got my thermo at David's estate sale. So the state so that your dad sent me mm -hmm. to. So I got the thermo, which I still haven't cleaned. Uh -huh. It's really like stained from coffee. And it's a Stanley thermo. I know those are expensive. That one for sure is like super vintage from like the 80s, it seems mm -hmm. like. So I got the matching thermo because it's a oh. Stanley thermo. I did look it up though, and these do go for like 30 to 40 bucks. So these are quite expensive. This looks new. I don't know. I don't like. This doesn't look like it was used, like, um, the around The outside here? rim does, though. Yeah, it looks just dirty, but, like... Yeah, like, dirty, probably, like, from sticky area from drinks and looks stuff. Looks like it's clean, like, super clean. And this doesn't even have any, like, markings of, like, spoons, because normally you would, like, use a spoon. It doesn't have any markings of a spoon in there. Um, so, yeah, what was your final answer? Well, now you're influenced by my story because my story no, is so compelling story, and wouldn't convince no, anyone to pick no, this up. No, I have my own choice. I don't get convinced easily. Okay, what is it? Uh, no. <laughs> All of that for no. <laughs> no, it's just to me, it doesn't make sense for me to buy. I know that a lot of people, if you're a camper, if you're maybe a morning hiker, We're and you want to take <laughs> a cup of coffee with you during your hike, it has a button where you can open yeah. it to sip out your drink. Uh, it's just to me, it's just, I would never pick it up because it's not something that calls me. Um, if I was more, if I was paying attention more to the resale value, then yes, but it just personally to me, I wouldn't pick it up. Okay. All right, that was a no, people. I tried. All right, and that concludes my haul for today. Thank you so very much for watching all the way to the end. I think I only got like two yeses, if if that. The Is wallet that? and the dude. Yeah, so only two yeses out of five. Horrible. Not your um, best one yet. I know. It's okay. Um, I know a lot of you love him, so it's okay. So I'm going You'll to wrap recover. up this video because we have had a lot of technical issues. My phone doesn't have any storage because they have so many pictures of my husband and Bella, of course. So like, we've had to like, oh, we've had to do like 10 takes. Like I'm making my husband feel like a celebrity at this point. So um, we have to like stop make, giving him a big head. So uh, if you haven't followed him, make sure you follow him at Second Chance Love. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then of course, let's be cyber friends. It doesn't cost anything. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you liked any of the items that I picked, uh, regardless of what he was saying. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs Otherwise, up. I will see you all on my next video. Sorry for the super quick video, but I had to, I was forced via my phone to cut this short. But I will see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.